Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Jay Strange Rep Reviews and more. All right, so we've got the new, at least in America, W King T9 Pro on the left, going up against the JBL Encore. Not the essential, but the Encore. Not really a big difference anyway, but we're going to be running these outside, and we're about 15 feet away. The Encore is in its base boost 2 mode, which generally I don't like, but it's more of a mid base push than a lower base push. And the W King just has a setting for base plus six to minus six. Seems to work best at zero, especially outside, because if you try to boost the base too much, it makes it darker and warmer sounding. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna start at 40%. Put your headphones on if you have them. Again, not those old dirty Dollar Tree headphones. We'll start with the W King on the left, 40%. Here we go. JBL. W King. So in comparison, it sounds a little more boxy. Let's go up to 60. 60%. Chase track still sixty. T9 Pro. Let's go up to 80% on the W King. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. T9 Pro. pause this I'm going to change the settings on these speakers real quick okay so now the encore is in its bass boost one mode it's a little more emphasis on the lower bass and I took the W King bass down to minus four it's like I said it's from minus six to plus six so when you lower the bass it tends to make it a little bit brighter sounding which is better for outside because you want more carry all right here we go back to it we're still on the encore at 80% T9 
59 Pro. It sound right, boy. Chase track. Spoke the max volume. Let's uh, do a little off-axis. All right, so we're doing a little off-axis. Uh, we'll start with the Encore. This is at 60%. Uh, T9 Pro. Encore. Pro. So yeah, the T9 Pro off-axis is not bad. Maybe not quite as good as the JBL. Bear in mind the JBL tweeters are kind of angled outward just a little bit. So overall, the T9 Pro holds up pretty well. It's not quite as clean sounding, not as smooth. But when you get up to max volume, it holds its base and doesn't really fall apart or anything. The Encore does lose some bass that you get to max volume, and running these just in the battery, the T9 Pro is definitely a louder speaker. So I think if you're wanting to go outdoors to use one of these, the T9 Pro would probably be the better option, especially running off their battery. And the Encore has been as low as 150 bucks, 200 to 150 on sale quite a bit, but I don't know if that chip has sailed. I think it's normally a $400 speaker, which is kind of ridiculous, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below of these two. I think the T9 Pro definitely be a good outdoor speaker, especially if you set it up right with a third party EQ and boost up the upper range a little bit. It holds together pretty well and it's pretty loud. Like and subscribe. And if you haven't done so already, do it today. It's free. It costs you nothing. And everybody that's been around this channel will tell you this channel is worth every bit of nothing. We'll catch you guys at the next one out here in the armpit of America. Beautiful <laughs> wasteland of near Ornogo, Missouri, between Ornogo and Webb City. Over here is the Great Lakes. Last video I shot that too, but 
give you guys an idea of the Great Lakes of Ornogo. It's an emotional mess out here. That's a wrap. <laughs>